Hey guys, today we're back with another product review. And today on the channel, we'll be reviewing the Olight Osight. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. Once again today, we're going to be reviewing the Olight Osight. This is a red dot optic mainly for handguns. Um, before we get any bit further into the video, I'd just like to let you all know that Olight did send us three of these Olight Osights for us to review. Uh, what we're going to be doing with them is giving my honest opinion of them from a shooter's perspective and also we're going to be running one of them through at least uh, this one here on this Rex into some actual uh, duty use drops. Uh, banging them up a little bit and seeing how well they stand up. Uh, this one actually has a cover on it, which we'll cover all this here in a second. So here is your charging base, which we already have this one on it. And uh, we will walk through the charging base with this one that is already charged. So taking this off, you can also see the O-Light, uh, O-Sight. So whenever we put this on, it will show us how much of it is charged. So we are almost at a full charge right now. A minute ago, whenever I first put it on it, it was like around the 75%, so that's pretty interesting there. Uh, first time I've ever seen that done, right here is where your optic charges. So as long as your back uh, iron sights here don't uh, mate right up to your optic, you can easily slip it over. And even if they do, they, they do give you a little bit of le uh, leeway with it. But as you can see here with this Accuracy X, the way that this pressure height sights fit on it, it will not actually fit on the optic, so technically speaking, if I wanted to charge it, I would have to take it off of the actual base. Go ahead on into the rest of the box. Once again, there is the charger for the one. We pull this out, that is where your optic would actually sit. Now in here, we have a box with the screws that you would mount into your plate. You have a little case here that you can put it in if you're not using it, and you also have your USB Type-C to USB uh, charger which will plug into the wall and the USB type C plugs into the side of this right here you also have your tool one thing that I liked about this is that they do come with a bunch of screws just in comparison this is a normal sized RMR uh, from Trujicon it makes the full sized RMR look like a uh, RMR C so as you can see here you can just see the big window dot difference going through a little bit of the specs Long lasting battery life on one single charge on the lowest setting is 70,000 hours. Uh, on its brightest setting is uh, continuously run for 15 days. The cover can charge optic up to three times when fully charged. Uh, three MOA dot, the dot is clear and easy to locate, ensuring swift and precise dot acquisition. Every one of them that we did get here are the red dot, which is what I requested. They also did come out with a green dot. I just prefer red because it works a little bit better with my astigmatism. But from what you can tell with here, that's almost exactly how it looks to me. Not as big as it does on the camera here, but it is a very crisp dot. So that's something else I like to see. So this optic here has successfully maintained zero during 10,000 round test per Olight. Uh, this is not me that's tested that. We're gonna be shooting them a lot, but I don't, I'm not gonna be able to shoot 10,000 rounds through them. But whenever I did talk to Olight about this, they did think that this would be more for the competition use or like maybe an EDC gun. Whenever it comes to duty use, they was more lenient, more towards the uh, competition use, just to be honest with you all. And that's what I really want to put it through is like a duty use um, test per se, just because I know that a lot of people that EDC guns, uh, they want their uh, O-Light, or they want their actual RMR to be able to stand up to whatever they throw at it. So uh, we're gonna make sure that we test that for you all as well. Three modes available is a manual mode, a lockout mode, and an auto sensing mode. So the lock or the one right now that we have this on is the auto mode where I can adjust it up to as far as I want to, make it as bright as I want to, and then go all the way down as dim as I want to. How you change this is hold in the plus symbol for a few seconds, blinks, and now it lets you know that you're in lock-in mode, so I can no longer adjust it. I'm hitting it right now, and it's no longer going up. If I hold it, the plus button for a few more seconds, blinks, and it now tells me it's in auto-adjusted mode. It actually has an eye up here to, it, to look downrange and see what you're looking at, and it will adjust to it. We have done a few tests going in and out of a dark room and a light room, and it seemed like it adjusts pretty well. Uh, I currently use a Holosun SCS and it can be pretty slow to adjust, especially whenever you're going in a dark room and you throw on your weapon mounted light. 
Uh, I have seen that already in the past with that one, but this one here seems to be pretty um, pretty quick with what it's doing. So I like I like that about it. So you have 12 brightness settings, 10 for daytime and two for night. The motion sensor function allows you to wake your optic up in an instant. The optic turns itself off automatically after 10 minutes of inactivity. So if you put your gun up for the night or you're just stationary, you don't want to shoot anymore, you set it down, it will automatically turn itself off to save that battery. So it's pretty interesting. It's a good looking optic as well. It is big. I will say it 100% is big, but at the same time, you can follow that red dot very, very easily. So it's interesting. Um, that will be about it from the beginning. We have not shot this a bit right now, guys. So once again, this is just me starting off the review and showing you everything it comes with from factory. So now let's go ahead and dive in to the shooting review. All right, guys, we are now back. We have now put 500 rounds through the Olight O-Sight on the Apex uh, Delta X, and we also put 200 rounds on the Olight O-Sight on the Glock 34 Accuracy X. Uh, what do we have to say? So first, let's talk about how it actually was to shoot this. So whenever we was actually shooting this today, uh, the DOT uh, auto-adjusted perfect in br daytime brightness. We had both of these on auto-adjust. We did not have to touch them up at all any bit today. Uh, it was very easy to sight these in. We sighted both of them in at 20 yards, uh, so they done perfect overall with everything with that. Uh, just a very, very interesting day today we had. So that being said, we shot 500 rounds through this Delta X today. Uh, was a very good 500 rounds. Uh, the more I shoot this gun, the more I actually, actually uh, love it, to be honest with you. Uh, we have already put a thousand rounds down it uh, whenever we've done the initial review on this, but now that we've put a little bit more down it, I've actually uh, come to love this gun a lot more, especially that trigger on it. But getting back to the actual O side here, um, it done a very great job. It was easy to track with this because whenever it would recoil, it would come up and then that dot would just drop right back into your sight. Um, once again, huge window, but uh, we was using a Glock uh, 34 Safari Land holster and did not know it, but the Apex uh, Delta worked perfect with that as well, and it still locked back. ALS uh, retention locked perfect with it, and the uh, hood of the sight was never touched by any bit of it, so uh, glad to see that. But 500 rounds down range with the Olight. So what we done with the actual range review today is that not only did we shoot the 500 rounds, we try to do it as accurate as possible, but still with speed, just trying to get like that competition-esque um, type of uh, rhythm to it. But also on top of that, we did do a little bit of push-offs the uh, holster, like uh, we didn't have one in the chamber one time we pulled it out, so we done a rack off of the actual O-light on the holster. We didn't do anything too severe whenever it comes to racking it off of the optic besides that. Um, so it held up fine with that. So at the end of the 500 rounds, we've done five more rounds on the target to see how well the optic actually uh, kept its uh, zero. So let's find out how it done. So as you can see there, 500 rounds down range held up zero perfect. After we done the five round uh, grouping to confirm that it kept zero after the 500 rounds was shot through it, we then done two drop tests from six foot on concrete. Here we go. All right guys, we have now shot 500 rounds through the Olight O-Sight and we just uh, shot our five group uh, confirmation right then and everything was still sighted in as perfect as it was whenever we began the test. So this will be the final test of the Olight O-Sight. Once again, they said this is more of a competition type of optic. It's not really duty rated, but I just wanted to see it for myself and for you all as well, would it withstand a six foot drop? So once again, we will go ahead and turn it up here. This is six foot here. All right, as you can see here, we have a little bit of a hit right here on top. One over here on the left-hand side, that right there maybe is just dust, but the optic is still in working condition. Let's go ahead and do one more drop just to confirm. Once again, we are dropping it from six foot on the concrete. All 
All right, you can see here, if I can get it, there we go. We still have a few markings here. Let's see if we can get that off. The glass did not break and the light, or the red dot is still on. Gun's, gun's still working, thank the Lord, but anyway. Um, a little bit beat up, but everything seems to be all right. Let's go ahead and go out here and, oh, actually, I take that back. We did crack the right-hand side of the glass. I'm gonna try and get this in view or maybe even the glass has shifted out just a tad bit, but it is cracked on the right-hand side here. I can see it through the camera right now. It is cracked. There we go. Let's go ahead and see if it did hold its uh, zero with them two drops. All right, guys, so we have now dropped this twice on the concrete. The right-hand side of the glass is cracked just a little bit, but let's go ahead and see how well it does with our five-shot group. All right, guys, here is, once again, our five-shot group. As you can see, the gun is unloaded. Let's go ahead and have it holstered. We did aim right here again, and it did hold a five-shot group at 20 yards rested. So, once again, 20 yards rested, but that's still a great group, especially out of this A-Rex. But either way it goes, though, as you can see here, uh, even though that we did drop it, it held 100% exactly where that dot is holding to. So, um yeah, I would still agree that this is a pretty good uh, competition dot, but now we've shot not only 500 rounds through this one here, the A-Rex, we did also shoot 200 rounds through the Glock Accuracy 34X, or Accuracy X Glock 34, and it held its accuracy as well. But uh, interesting dot overall, especially for $200 and it having as big as window, uh, big as window as it does, I think it done a really, really good job today. So not only am I impressed with everything else that Olight has uh, done on this optic, especially the rechargeability of it, not having to replace the batteries or anything like that, but also as well for it withstanding not only uh, 500 rounds and still holding zero, but two drops at six foot on the concrete. And yes, it did break the glass, but at least it did hold zero. So that's something that you can say positive about it. So guys, that will be about the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. We'll only get back to you as soon as possible. But once again, a very special thank you to Olight for sending us the Osite 2 review and torture test for you all today. Very special thank you to Global Ordnance for the 500 rounds of ammunition that we did run through the uh, A-Rex and the 200 rounds of ammunition that we run through the Accuracy X Glock 34. And guys, once again, a very special thank you to you all for viewing as always. So guys, once again, thank you all for viewing. I'll see you all in the next video.